Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise God. I give honor to God, to Bishop Anderson, to <coughs> Elder Robinson, to our Lord. preacher tonight, Evangelist Jordan, to uh, Evangelist Anderson, Sister Campbell, and to Leslie. I thank God for being here tonight and uh, how God has taken us to and fro safely, and, uh, and for the tarrying that is going on, praise God, and we're keeping uh, Leslie in our prayers, Amen. that God will continue to deal with her and take her through. Yes. God does not play games Amen. with us. Amen. When he feels Amen. that uh, uh, we're ready for the Holy Ghost, he will bring him yes. out. Amen. And we'll just continue to pray and ask her not to become discouraged. Uh -huh. yeah. As long as you have that mind and your heart is right with the Lord, you will get the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I thank God for everything that God has done for us, for even the ones who are on Zoom tonight, that God will continue to bless and keep uh, uh, you safely as well. Yeah. Now we're getting ready for the Word of God. And we want you to sit attentively and support the woman of God as she break the bread of life for us tonight. Amen. Bring it before you at this time, Evangelist Sharon Jordan. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice and will open, Without the Lord. Amen. 
cannot make it. We need him not only by us, we need him in us. It's all right to say, oh, I thank God and I know him. But it's good to know that he knows us. Because it ain't going to be no good, no matter how much we talk about him. He don't, we don't know him. Amen. Praise God. I thank God for knowing who he is. Knowing him in the pardon of my sin. Knowing that he's a savior on today. Knowing that he's a keeper on today. Knowing that he will keep our minds if we have a desire to be kept. Yeah. I thank God for the press on today. I thank yeah. God. Not knowing Wednesday, Tuesday, no Wednesday, I believe it was, it came out what the situation was, but it just seemed like the Spirit was pressing on me to get up, do what I needed to do. And I planned on cooking and I he gave me time and told me, get up, cook. I mean, when I say up, I don't mean I don't mind down. But get up and go cook your food and get on out here and catch that 430 bus. And I praise God I was able to catch the bus and get down time to catch the 5 o'clock train. Now, I got the time that time. The time changes. But God was in control. And to get out here in time enough to be needed to help out. And I thank God. Thank God. I want to encourage the seeker on tonight and let you know that Jesus said that he is the door. Yeah. That is my topic on tonight. I am the door. Yeah. Walk through the right door on tonight. Make sure you pick the right door. Which door did you walk through? Make sure it's the right one. He is the door. Make sure you walk through him. Allow him yeah. in. To lead and guide you because there's a lot of doors. Yeah, I tell you. A lot of doors you can go through. Uh -huh. A lot of them. A lot of them take us in and a lot of them take us out and then you can wind up in a door that leads you to a dead. Yeah. To a dead end. Right. You got doors that say exits. Right. You got doors that say entrance. Uh -huh. What door are you going through tonight? I'm yeah. going through God's door. Yeah. He is my door on tonight. Yeah. My scripture is coming from John 10. Because he is the door on tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Praise God. I thank God this past celebration of Easter. And Good Friday, he was representing himself as the door for our sins. Uh -huh. He died and he made a way. Yeah. Only he could do it. Yeah. Only he that's what makes it so precious, and that's what makes me want to continue in this race, because it's only him that is going to help me over. Amen. All right. So I got one more river to cross. Right. It's only him that's going to help us cross over. Yeah. All right. And it come time for the departure of this life. It's only him that will lead us into eternal life, yeah. to live with him forever and ever. John 10, starting from the 7th verse to the 9, and it reads as follows. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Mm -hmm. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the sheep did not hear them. Amen. I am the door by me, if any man enter in, he shall be they, look at that word, shout out. And shall go in and out and find pasture. Yeah. I went on as I was reading this. I said, let me look up this pasture word. It means land covered with grass mm -hmm. and other low plants suitable for grazing animals. Right. So here, Sat there and I looked and I read. I said, now let me see exactly what this pastor word is referring to in this verse. Mm -hmm. And you shall go in and I out and find pastures. It's mentioned also in Psalms 23 and 2 where he say, He maketh me to lie down yeah. in green pastures. All right. God 
provides green pastures. So in other words of explanation of this verse that said, and find pastures, God is letting us know that he is rendering the fields for us. Yeah. Just like a shepherd renders the fields for the sheep, yeah. and they are green and healthy, that's what Christ does for us. Yeah. But he does it for us through his word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His pastures are not stale or dead. Right. His word is fresh every day. Amen. And he delights to feed us with fresh pastures yeah. day after day. Yeah. Yeah. We don't get no hand-me-downs from God. Amen. When we read and delight in his word, we can feel refreshed. Yeah. Green passes his refreshments through his word. Yeah. As we read, he lets us know in his word what we can get from him. Uh -huh. Ask anything. Amen. He'll give it to us. Yes, yeah. He'll never leave us on the sake. Amen. These are his pastors. Yes, yes. Whatever we're going through today, saints, we can make it through his word. Yeah. Yeah. When we're feeling down and out and lonely and distressed and despair, you can read his word. Yeah. That is his green pastures yes, for us. Yes. We can be refreshed through his word. Yeah. The state from Christ found here in verse 7 is the third of seven I am uh -huh. declarations of Jesus recorded yeah. only in John's gospel. Uh -huh. In Jesus I am the door statement, he clearly points out that he is the door. Amen. And not a door. Amen. We see a lot of doors, just like I said earlier. But none of them is Jesus. Amen. We can walk in whatever door we want to walk in. Amen. In a store, when we go into that store, if you don't got an in you, he ain't in you. But he said, I am the door. He is the door. Yeah. Walk through him. Amen. Walk in him. Yeah. Once you walk through that door and you're in him, stay in him. Mm -hmm. Don't get confused. No confusion, confusion for his disciples, right. whom he was talking to at this time. Amen. He was talking to his disciples in this, in this chapter. Amen. Before that, he was speaking a parable to them. He was talking about the shepherd and being the sheep, Amen. being a shepherd for the sheep. Uh -huh. And we are his sheep and he is yeah. our shepherd. Yeah. So these was parables. He was taking his time mm -hmm. to explain. Sometimes we got to take time out to explain the word of God to people. Because right. everybody that read it don't understand it. Mm -hmm. And even though it's a book, it's not a book for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a book to help everybody. Everybody don't understand the word of God. So therefore, as I'm saying here, Jesus is the door. Anyone that coming any other way, they went through the wrong door. Right. They didn't come through Christ. Mm -hmm. They are trying to find other ways to get to heaven, uh -huh. but not God's way. Amen. We know the way. Right. So don't let nobody fool us and tell us, oh, there's another way. Go around that corner, there's another door, and that door is going to lead you to Christ. You know who Christ is. Yeah. Yeah. They trying to find other ways. Yeah. Everybody is trying to be a shepherd on today, but they have not been sent. Right. They sheep are scattering yeah. because they're not the real shepherd. Yeah. But he said, I am the shepherd. Yeah. I am your shepherd. Yeah. As our sister Campbell saying, why aren't you following me? Yeah. I'm the one that can lead you through the song. Yeah. I'm the one that can take you through whatever you're going through. Yeah. But why aren't you following me? Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Don't let them ask you that. Don't be going along and thinking you're all right. He has to come and nerd you. Why aren't you following me? I'm your shepherd. Yeah. I'm the door. Yeah. I'm the one that you can follow. Yeah. If you follow me, I'll lead you the right way. Yeah. 
God is able to gain access to the Father. This is why you got to follow Christ. Amen. Because you can't get to God unless you go through Jesus. That's why we got to walk Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Because we don't have the power to get to God. As a sinner, we can't get to him. We got to bow our knees down before him and call his son name. At the name of Jesus, every knee is going back. I don't care what name they call. Said his name is Jesus. He is our mediator. 1 Timothy 2 and 5 says, For there is one God mm -hmm. and one mediator yeah. between God and man, mm -hmm. the man Christ Jesus. Yeah. So if the sinners will realize that he is the door for them, uh -huh. they will see that they have access to bigger and yeah. better opportunities. Yeah. But the foremost is salvation. Yeah. That's why they're running around. Like my grandmother would say, like a chicken with a head cut off. Uh, Running around, don't know which way to go. Right. Because they refuse to acknowledge Christ. Uh -huh. They refuse to acknowledge that Jesus is God's son. Right. And you have to come through his son. Because he is the door. Right. There's no other way to get to him. Right. You got to come through the door. You must enter at the door. He say, any other way. You are a thief uh -huh. and you are a robber. Yeah. You all know what that means. Since he is a door, anyone, as I say, who comes before him and not speaking the truth of his word are thieves and robbers. All right. And I thought about that. And then it came to me. Them thieves and robbers are the one that come and steal the soul. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thieves and robbers, that's what Christ meant. My thieves and robbers, you don't pay attention, they're going to come along and steal your soul. Mm -hmm. right. Sitting there looking up, listening mm -hmm. to what they say. Uh -huh. Sounding good, but it's a big lie. Yeah. Robbing your soul, mm -hmm. yeah. draining out what God has put into you. Yeah. The next thing you know, you're tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't, can't make. And I ain't talking about making it to church. I mean making it in this journey. Right. Ready to give up? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to God's unchanging yeah. yeah. He never fails. The song say, He never fails me yet. Yeah. Never fails me yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. Look at that name again. Jesus Christ never fails me yet. Some of them songs hit the soul. Yes. Don't allow no one, no matter their title, to fool you. Uh -huh. And then you believe there's another door. Mm. There ain't no more doors. No. no more doors. You can take a door and walk in a building. And you go try to go another way and let security be there. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's right. the way out. Uh -huh. I go into a building. I went into a building, had to take care of some business. I went in this way, the entrance was this way. When I finished my buildings, went upstairs, came down, when I finished my business, I'm going to walk the same way I came. Security said, no, 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 you gotta go that way. Uh -huh. A different door. Yeah. Still letting me outside. Right. But the door I'm talking about is Jesus. Right. And unless you walk into him, and allow him to lead and guide you in this life, mm -hmm. you're going to be lost. Amen. You're going to be lost. Amen. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right. If you don't let Christ be the door in your life, you're going to be lost. Yeah. Matthew 24 and 24 says, For there shall rise false Christs mm -hmm. and false prophets, yeah. and shall shew great signs and wonders. In so much that if it was possible, they shall deceive the very last. Very last. You That's see why you got to be in the right door? Right. Because they're going to be on fool you. Mm -hmm. He said the very elect. So if you get fooled, I'm here to tell you, you ain't done it. Because it's letting us know that if it was possible. Right. So we know it's letting us know. Jesus letting us know it's not possible. That's right. 
If you stay in him right. and allow him to be in charge of your mind, yes. that's what counts. He yes. got to be in charge of the mind. Yes. Amen. You can't give him half. No. Well, I'm on my way to church, so Lord, you can have my mind. Let me sing the right songs because I'm going to church. As soon as you walk out, okay, that's the end of it. I'm taking my mind back. No. Because then you're going to get fooled. Right. You ain't no more to let. You're drifting out that elect. Yeah. We hold crown sins. We're royalty. Right. So we elect. Amen. So don't let the enemy deceive us. Right. Don't let him deceive you, saints. Right. Because he's cunning. Yeah. Yeah. He stumbled. That's what he did. To eat. That's right. why I got that word. That word means he's sneaky. Right. Conniving. Yes. Got you believing. Oh, that looks so good. And you go on down and makes you know you standing there by yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. Devil made you and he back there laughing at you. Yeah. Right. Lord have mercy. Don't let them tell you lies because they are preparing you. This is where the lies. These people that's no longer the elect ones, uh -huh. they preparing you for a devil's hell. Right. Yes. That's what they're preparing you for. You stop and listening to them, they're preparing you. Right. So don't get there. Oh, man, if I had, if I, the Lord gave me that message. I'm just waiting for him to give me the rest. If I, don't be an if I. Right. Continue on in the door. He is the door. Yes. He is the shepherd uh -huh. to my life, to your life. Yes. He is my leader, your leader, my savior, your savior, yes. my comforter, your comforter. Yes. We can share this door together. Yes. We don't have to be greedy. No. We don't have to be stingy. That's why we out here helping our sister Leslie go through. Because we want to share this good thing. Yes. Some people get things and don't want to share. Yes. I don't right. share them. I don't care what it is. I'll share it. A piece of candy, I'll bite it in half and give it to you. Right. Take my shirt off, my sweater off. Don't make me no different. I don't care how much money I spent for it. If you need it, can use it, you can have it. Uh -huh. Why? Because God is my provider. Yeah. I don't have to worry about these things. Uh -huh. Just like you take care of the little sparrow. Uh -huh. Oh, mercy. I know you'll take care of me. Yeah. 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 No, he'll take care of me. Yeah. I remember walking down. Me and Sister Hardy, I believe we was on our way to the convention. We were driving down. We stopped off. I forgot that place that we stopped off along the way. Eating some chicken. <laughs> walking out. Come out. Got the chicken in my hand. Just an idiot. Next thing you know, one of them big birds <laughs> came down and snatched it out <laughs> my hand. I said, oh my God. Oh, I have mercy. Feed the sparrows. Yeah, feed them. Right. I didn't know my chicken was going to feed them, but he used me to feed them. Right. So who are we? Right. And we can't follow him. Yeah. Just like he fed that seagull, I believe that was the kind of bird it was. Yeah. Just like he fed it, he'll feed us. Yes. Yeah. He'll take care of us. Yeah. He'll look after us. Yeah. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about a thing. No. If it don't look right, don't worry about it. Yeah. If it's not going right, don't worry about it. I don't worry about a thing. I was talking about on somebody talking to somebody on the phone this past week. And they just laughed and said, you ain't worrying about it. And I said, I sure ain't. No, we were trying to get the hours together for my husband. Pray answer the Lord, work that out. Where both of my girls is now working. Oh, wow. Had so much, it wasn't so much of an issue but we have to switch vendors. Wow. So they was taking a long time. But God stepped in. Yes. We ain't got to worry about a thing. Yes. Little things of this life, God will work it out. Yes. He will comfort us. Yes. He's a comfort. They say, I'm going to send a comforter. Yes. That's going to lead and guide you. Yes. And to all true, people don't want to be guided. No, they want to no. do their own thing. Yeah. But we got 
got to sit back and let the Lord guide us. Yeah. And we got to just follow. Oh, yeah. Blindly. Yeah. We can't be like, wait a minute, Lord, where are you taking me? I don't want to go. No, no, no. We got to be blind to these things. Yeah. We got to put on our blindfolds and keep going straight. And wherever the Lord takes us, we go. Right. He said, lead us to green pasture. Mm -hmm. Green pasture. See that word? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Through, through whatever it is that we got to go through. Yeah. He'll take us through. Right. A door is a symbol of protection and security for those on the inside. So when we get inside of Christ and get deep down in him, that our revelation fly away. Right. We protect it. Yeah. He said he won't even let it come down. Right. I'll dwell in Amen. those who stay in the secret place of the most high Amen. and abide under the shadow. Yeah. Oh, mercy. Yeah. We ain't got to worry about it. Amen. He will protect us in the inside and he will protect us on the outside. Yeah. So much things is going on out there, but I get on the train like I'm on the train by myself. Amen. I don't worry about a thing. The Lord, you want to say, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, people come on here acting crazy, but it ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. Right. I ain't worried about it. Mm -hmm. They come past me, look at me, and go on about the minute. I said, well, thank you. That's right. Well, thank you. You take care of us, thank you. A person can look at the community of God within his flock, but if he never knocks on the door, then he will never enter. Right. So no matter how much you come to church, mm -hmm. no matter how much you read the word, or think you know the word, until you decide that you want to serve God is worth yes. You reading the Bible ain't going to get you in here. Mm -hmm. You just want to know the word. Right. <laughs> You can read it from Genesis to Revelation and know every book backwards and forward, but that ain't going to get you in heaven. The word helps you get to heaven. But the Holy Ghost is what's going to take us to heaven. What's going to change our bodies from mortal into immortality. What's going to help us reach up and be caught up to meet him in the end. Because you may watch a movie and you may see they got some movies out where they try to make it spiritual in reference to, to the devil and God fighting and how they show the man representing Lucifer going up in the air. Right? But I'm here to tell you, that ain't going to happen in real life. <laughs> because when you really look at it, they got strings hanging. I don't know whether you ever watch behind the scenes when they make movies. Yeah. They got strings. You'll see the building look like it's falling, but when they show the scene behind, they just got the camera going sideways. Uh -huh. Where it looked to you like they falling off the building. But this is a real thing I'm talking about. Yeah. We're going to be caught up for real. Right. If you got Christ in your life, you are going to be caught up. Yeah. It's ain't going to be no plaything. And when we, when Christ cracked the sky, those that are dead, they're going to come first. Uh -huh. Those that are alive and remain, their bodies going to be changed. Right. We ain't going to know y'all. Whoever's left, ain't going to know y'all, but y'all going to know us. Right. And y'all right. going to see us going up. Yeah. And that's when the if I, yeah. if I, uh -huh. if I, if I, if I had only come to church, if I had only tell, mm -hmm. I don't care how much you fight and call on Jesus, mm -hmm. that's what you got to do. Right. If I had only got it right, Make sure you got it right, yeah. Don't let nobody fool you, because Jesus is the door. Yes. Yeah, my God, my God. He's the only one that you can enter through on today. Right. Nobody else can get you in heaven. <laughs> so don't let nobody fool you on today. Mm. A person can look, but if he never knocks on the door, he will never enter. The beautiful part about Christ, is that he is the door. Yeah. And that lets us in. Amen. He is the door that lets us in. Yeah. So while you're down there tearing, he's the one that's going to open up the door for you. That's right. We can't open the door for you. No. All we can do is tell you to keep calling. That's it. 
All you can do is tell you to keep your mind on and control. That's it. And when you get to that place in God, God going to come and let you know. Hear you. Don't give up. Because it's going to take his door. And you go through. Right. In different cultures, maybe in different cultures or religions, or even in false prophets, salvation, only certain people, let me read that again so you can understand. Maybe in different cultures or religions, or even in false prophets, salvation, only certain people or certain kinds of people are welcome through their door. Mm -hmm. Gotta look a certain way. Gotta act a certain way. Yeah. You don't act like them in their church, mm -hmm. you feel out of place. Yeah. Uh -huh. They don't let you in. Mm -hmm. People even look at the homeless a different way. Yeah. Being homeless. Right. Being homeless is not having your own home. Yeah. That's homeless. Mm -hmm. Because people can be on the street and they go in the shelter. Right. right. Just like I say, it's a shelter. Mm -hmm. But they're still homeless. Mm -hmm. yes. There's different kinds of people that were in the shelter when I was in there. That came through the doors. Mm -hmm. There was doors. We went through doors. Me and my family went through doors in a hotel. And certain, even though it was a hotel, it wasn't a hotel where you come in and book a room. It was a different type of hotel. Yeah. Right. So when they walked through that door, and they came in there looking for a hotel room, they had to be told, no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You walked in the wrong door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they had another door where you walked into a place that's called a tier two, a tier one now. Mm -hmm. A tier one consists of a big area that has different rooms. The building got different rooms in it. And every family has a room, but they share the bathroom. There's no kitchen. That's a door you walk into. Not connected to Jesus at all, but it was a door. Right. Then you got another door you walk into that's called a tier two. A tier two is considered an apartment. Mm. But hold up, it ain't yours. Right. <laughs> it belongs to the city. Yeah. Mm. And that's a door you walk into. We walked into that door. And when the time came, we had to walk out. Yeah. And when we walked out of it, and we walked into our own door uh -huh. with our own key, uh -huh. that's considered my apartment. Yeah. But wait a minute. Yeah. That's not the door of Jesus. No. So therefore, you must, we must walk into the door of Christ. Because yeah. he said, I Door. Yes. I'm the door. Right. If you enter in, yeah. you shall be saved. Yeah. Right. You shall be saved. Look at that word shall again. People take that and run with it. Mm. You're saved already. No, you're not. Right, you me. shall be shall saved. Be. Yeah. There's a preparation. Yeah. There's a process to salvation. Yes. You can go down and get it quick, fast, and in a hurry, but you got to live. Otherwise, you're going to lose. That's the key. He can save you in a day, but if you don't pursue it, you'll lose it. So, saints, in my conclusion, remember that Jesus is our door. Let's stay connected to him. Let's keep our minds on him. Let's hold on to his unchanging hand. Because he never changes. If we hold on to his hand, he'll never change. Because right. he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yeah. So stay, stand fast, strong, and unmovable. Uh -huh. Always abounding. Always. In the will of God. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise God. Thank God for that beautiful message. <coughs>
I am the door. Praise God. Let us know.